The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, friends, the happier we'll be. Friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Hello, friends, neighbors. Thanks for tuning in. We are getting started with a handwork lesson today. And handwork is one of the important parts of the Waldorf curriculum, a way to get our head, heart, and hands working together. Very creative process. And we need to start somewhere now, don't we? So where we're going to be starting today is with casting on. That is literally getting the yarn onto the needle so that you can begin in the knitting process. Before we start, we're going to do a brief verse to share some inspiration. Train your hands, make busy your arms, practice the clear power of thought with the warm heartedness of art. In your hand sleeps the spirit. All right, let's begin. In this video, I'm using a wool yarn that's fairly bulky, and the needles that I'm using are a size 11. They're metal needles. You can use wood or metal, but we create a loop with the yarn, and there's that size at the end of the needle there, size 11. And so I'm going to take the needle and just put it inside the loop and pull it taut there. But not too taut as we go we want to you know make sure it's the knot or the loop touches the bottom of the needle but you don't need to pull it too tight because it makes it hard to knit once you get to that point so there's a tail there and then we have the long end attached to the ball of yarn and we're going to go over I mean under one side and over the other and pull it through let's check that out again under grab that other piece of yarn and make sure that loops on the needle and then you can let it go under over and let go so we go under pull the loop from the other piece and off it goes this is the process of casting on and it takes a little practice so give yourself time to perfect the art of casting on and you can you know, cast on, pull it off again, and try it again if you'd like. So you just want to get comfortable with that process. But it's something you just do at the beginning of the process, so you may have to come back the next time you knit something until it becomes intuitive. And there you have it. You can go ahead and count your stitches, making sure you have all the stitches that you need. I think we have about 10 on the needle here. And once you're all cast on, then you're ready to knit. Thanks so much for tuning in. We will see you in the next video when we learn to knit. We're gonna get the other needle involved and learn a basic and fun project. See you there. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. For your friends are my friends and happier will be.